Now we sit here in 3D going, I'm totally sure I know how the universe works. Oh, speaking of the universe and how it works and people knowing it, have you noticed how intelligent people question pretty much everything, but morons are absolutely certain about everything? Have you noticed this? So it is with the flat earth people. i got to tell you, I'm delighted to announce that one of those people uh, who believes the earth is flat, no one has believed the earth to be flat since about 300 Anno Domini. What these people do. I've actually been threatened with Dioff. Yes, yes, John B. Wells has received a death threat because I think the flat earth is rubbish. So I'm going to tell you something right now. You sit there and type with your pudgy little, shall we say, oily little middle fingers typing away. You know, when you go into the Internet thing, it's the same thing as walking into a crowd. Depends on what city you're in. Depends on what crowd you're walking into, but you're liable to come across some very, very nasty people who don't like the way you look. They don't like the way you dress. They don't like how you talk. They don't like the things you talk about. And so it is with the Internet. Because any SOB can get a hold of a computer terminal and start spewing vitriol, to put it in a civilized manner, but it's really more like sewage, using really crude, coarse, and otherwise base combinations of profane words, as if this is going to make some sort of an impression on anybody. Well, it does. You identify yourself as a borderline subhuman moron when you do this, instead of just stating your thoughts rationally. So I want to tell you flat earth people something right now. I'm going to, you know, sometimes you have to be cruel to be kind. You ever heard of, but, 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 Thanks, Jim. I needed that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to give you a loving slap. But I'm going to tell you something. Nut up, man, and show us that you've got the cojones to talk about the flat earth. You idiot. Who do you think you're talking to? I have more intelligence in my left pinky fingernail than you have in your whole damn body. Squared or even cubed. I'm coming for you, flat earthers. I'm going to destroy your ridiculous little paradigm. It's so easy. It's almost like being tormented by a gerbil. It's so easy to just, well, do away with it. Yet, I will do this from a logical, rational, scientific, and highly intellectual platform. Now, some of you will not understand me. But the fact that you do, do not understand does not make me stupid. It makes you unable to understand. So it's, we're going to very carefully spoon-feed it to you. And by the time it's all over with, now I'm having a little fun with this, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm serious about the death threat. I'll bring it. Just bring it. I would suggest, um, I would suggest a really dark alley from behind. Or it will not go well for you. Um, and if you go to jail, which you will, then my family's really going to have some fun with you. So keep that in mind before you issue any more threats. Payback can be just absolutely awful. You don't want that. Besides, it's the start of a new year. But here's the thing. <clears throat> this is a psyop, people, and nothing but. What makes you think that logistically you're being measured for your strong support of the flat earth theory. Everything is a lie. They won't tell us the truth. The astronauts are bogus. NASA's bogus. Satellites do not exist. Well, why is it my XM radio drops off the scope the moment that there's some heavy cloud cover to the south? Why does the drain swirl one way in the northern hemisphere going down the bathtub drain and the other way in the southern hemisphere? Well, it's because it tilts on its side and becomes like a plate, like the moon is a plate. No. I mean, seriously, contemplate this for a minute. Let's just assume for the moment, and I do, that you're completely wrong about this. Can you imagine the delight of the people who are pushing this nonsense out there at how willing you are to go for it? It's beyond belief. Now, that said... It wouldn't make any difference if the Earth was actually shaped like a a star, a pentagram, if you like, or maybe a six-pointed star, like the Jews have. Make it a seven-pointed star, like the U.S. Marshals used to have. 
What difference does it make in your life if it's flat, round, triangular, or heart-shaped? Answer, nothing. Now, this smart aleck gets on there in his little YouTube video. Oh, I'm going to crucify you, dude. I really am. I'm sorry. But, but, but you're a masochist, obviously, or you wouldn't have taken me on to begin with. Called me Johnny Boy. Oh, really? Oh, that was really cute. Okay, you're first. You're first on my list, okay? If you built a road straight, by the time you went to the horizon, there'd be a drop of 7,000 feet. Oh. I'll give you a hint. The surface of the earth is not completely flat and smooth. As pilots, we have this thing called AGL and we have MSL. AGL means above ground level. MSL means mean sea level. Now, at a local airport here, call it Addison. You're at 600 feet above sea level. Is that a lie, too? No, it's not. When I flew to L.A. and I got out there around Arizona, my altimeter said 12,500. But I was at almost 6,500 feet above sea level. So I was only a little over 6,000 feet above the ground. But you don't get that. But you will. I promise. Why don't we take ourselves a little break, and then let's get with Paul Preston, and let's get with Mark Beard, if he's available as well. I believe he is. Yeah, he is. Both on the line. Now, I'm serious, Flat Earthers. I'm coming for you. And when it's over, you're going to feel a lot better. Not about being shown to be wrong. It's going to raise your awareness of what a put-on this has been, and you were the victim. People claim they want truth, but do they want truth? Well, some truth, but not all truth. And the one truth that you really don't want is to be shown that you're wrong, that you've been duped, that you've been lied to, and you've been used as a tool to spread the lie. I am John B. Wells. This is Ark Midnight, and we shall return. Let's just crack on, shall we?